It's that time of year again. Welcome back to the Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. It is summertime. Everybody wants to get out on the water on their boat. Here to talk about boating safety in Delaware is Sergeant John McDerby, who is with the Delaware Fish and Wildlife Natural Resources Police. That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, so, so what is the biggest problem this time of year out on the water? Um, for us out on the water right now, it's getting the message out there is for um, people to get their education to make sure that they have all their boating safe, burning safety equipment on board their boats. Um, sometimes when people are just getting the boat out for the first time of the year, they're, they're more worried about just getting on the water and getting their summer going and enjoying themselves and they don't take the time to, to check their equipment from the year before to make sure nothing's missing um, or it's in serviceable condition and, and it's ready to go. So we want to make sure that everybody has all that all those things up to date and, and ready so that they can have a safe, enjoyable summer. Now, can you get fined if you don't have the proper equipment? You can. You can. You can be uh, ticketed for not having the proper safety equipment on board or not having your boater education card on board if, if you're within the age limits that's required for it. The boater education card, is that a one and done deal or do you have to do it every couple of years? It is. For, for Delaware, you only, once you take it initially, anybody born after January 1st of 1978 is required to have a boater education card in Delaware. Um, and once you have that card, it's, it's for a lifetime. Um, you, you can always go back and take the class again, or there are additional classes you can take other than the boater education, but the basic card does is good for the lifetime. So you're out in the water, you stop the boats, or you board the boats, or whatever. You, you tell me what you do, <laughs> and, and you check for safety equipment and the card. Do you, do you need probable cause? Do they need to be doing something wrong? No, we, we can uh, stop vessels just to check their boater safety equipment. We'll do targeted patrols for, for boating safety to make sure that uh, we'll stop a boat to see if, uh, make sure that they have all their life jackets on board. Um, a big thing that we're, something that we're very big on is uh, children's life jackets. Any child that's 12 and under has to have a life jacket on at all times on the boat. Um, so we, we, we definitely make sure we, we check kids for that. We want to make sure that the jackets are the, wrong, are the correct size because if you put a child in a life jacket that's too large, an adult life jacket on a small child, if they go overboard and something happens where maybe they're unconscious, that life jacket could actually pop right up over their head and then it doesn't do them any good. So the proper size and fit is important. What are the biggest problems out in the water? Um, a lot of times it's uh, lack of experience um, and especially with Delaware being such a uh, vacation destination, like down at the beach in Sussex County, we have a lot of um, a lot of boaters are, that are visiting us from other locations, other states. So they go out on the water and they may not be familiar. So they may be experienced boaters in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or New York, or wherever they may be visiting us from. Um, but every waterway is a little bit different. You know, there's sandbars or there's submerged in Newcastle County. We have a lot of submerged jetties. Uh, you know, there's there's hazards out there that people need to be aware of before they just go out there. You can't just jump on the boat and, and go. And you have to do a little research for yourself. Yeah, especially in, in Delaware, you have so many different waterways. You have the Delaware you can go out on. You have the bay. You have the right. ocean. And it must all be different. The training has to be different. It's yeah, it's. The basic training is the same for the operation, but yes, the, the different waterways all have, you know, different things to be aware of and, and the different environmental factors can affect, your, you know, the way your boat operates or the way you should, you know, be out there and be careful while you're, while you're on the water. You can rent a boat, right? You can. Um, in, in some locations, there are some places down in, at the beach in Delaware where uh, they rent jet skis and they rent and they rent uh, like pontoon boats and such. So what do they do? They just give you a quick safety uh, they have it, they have it. Yeah, they have a checklist that they go through to make sure, but they are required to make sure that if you fall in our in our age categories for boater education, they won't rent to you or unless you have an operator that falls into that age group or has, t you have to be able to provide your boater education card. Anybody who takes the boater education classes is, is actually required to have that card with them on the boat while they're operating just like you would your driver's license and and alcohol big problem it can be uh, it can be a, um, we've been pretty lucky with with uh, the alcohol um, related accidents we, we do have some each year um, we we try to do a, a good job of, of getting the word out there and reminding people it to drive or operating the boat under the influence it's a violation is 0 0.08 just like it would be for driving a car um, but sometimes the environmental factors of being on the water all day can affect somebody much more. Um, you know, the wind and the heat, dehydrating you more, the motion of the boat, and, and sometimes the alcohol effects are a little bit, uh, people are affected a little bit quicker than they were if they were on land. People are have, trying to have a good time. They're out in a the boat. They right. think there's different sets of rules. I, I mean, you've, you run into it all the time, but, it, but it's dangerous. It is. Yeah, people can die. 
just like on the roads. Yep, exactly. And you know, the, the thing is with um, when you're boating on the water, unlike the roads, you know, there's there's no dotted line down the middle. There's no lanes, so you have to be that much more aware. And when you put alcohol and in, in, you know take away that little bit of awareness, you, ha you could have boats coming from all different directions, and, and so there you have to really be aware of what's going on and, and paying attention out there. So For somebody that wants to get into a boat, where do they get more information? They can visit our website, uh, de.gov de slash boat safety. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate having it. me today. Sergeant John McDerby, boating safety education. He is with the uh, Delaware Fish and Wildlife Natural Resources Police. When we come back, we just said it was time of year for boating. It's also the time of year for the Delaware State Fair. It is much more important this year because a lot of the music festivals have gone away. Wait till you hear the acts they have. It's coming up on June 20th through August 30th, and next is somebody to tell you all about it.